The Niners recently completed day two of their mandatory mini camp, and while many eyes were on the quarterback competition, there was also a gaping hole with Nick Bosa not starting on the defensive line. And it's not a big deal that Nick Bosa didn't start, but the player that took his place performed extremely well and may push for the starting job opposite of Bosa. This is a player the Niners previously had in Kerry Hyder. In this video, I want to break down how Hyder stood out in day two of minicamp. Also, I want to break down Hyder's career up to this point, what scouts were saying about him coming out of the draft, and finally, how he looks to fit into the Niners defense going forward, and what are his chances of securing that starting job. The first thing that needs to be mentioned about Kerry Hyder is how well he plays under Chris Kisarek. The first time this was obvious was during Kerry Hyder's tenure with the Lions, which we'll cover a little bit later, but also Hyder's played extremely well under the Niners defensive coordinator at the Niners recently before moving on to the Seattle Seahawks, and finally Kerry Hyder's back home. So what exactly did he do yesterday that probably was the best play of the day? As I mentioned, Kerry Hyder started in place of Nick Bosa, who chose not to participate during minicamp but was present. This is where Kerry Hyder stood out. During a play, he intercepted the pass from Trey Lance during a full team scrimmage. Lance was looking downfield on this play, but Hyder was right there in Lance's way. He read Lance's eyes perfectly, timed the throw, and snagged the ball just as Lance threw it. It was a miraculous play, and I'm surprised that Hyder was even able to hang on. Usually these passes are just batted on the line of scrimmage, but Hyder was able to make a play on this, and the whole entire defense after this play ran on the field and just celebrated a phenomenal snatch out of the air. It was really just like you can see those plays where the quarterback throws it and gets batted down by a defensive lineman. Rather than batting it down, Hyder was able to haul it in. So while Kerry Hyder has had the solid mandatory minicamp, I want to dive a little bit deeper into the edge rusher who could potentially start opposite of Nick Bosa. Kerry Hyder coming out was coming out of Texas Tech. His height was 6'2", and he weighed right around 290 pounds. His 40-yard dash was 5.1 seconds, and his 10-yard split was 1.84 seconds. Hyder played at Texas Tech from 2009 all the way to 2013. During his college career, he had a total of 49 games he played in with 41 starts, 176 tackles, 11 sacks, 10 passes defense, 3 forced fumbles, and 2 fumble recoveries. Overall, he stood out as a phenomenal athlete throughout his college time, even earning a highlight of two second team all Big 12 honors. Kerry Hyder, despite putting up some impressive college film, was not drafted in the 2014 NFL Draft. Rather, the New York Jets signed him on May 11, 2014, and he kind of spent some time there before going over to the Detroit Lions, where he would see his first action. Hyder spent a considerable amount of time with the Lions, signing to the team in 2015 before finally moving on in 2019, moving with the Dallas Cowboys. But before that, Hyder demonstrated a unique ability to get to the quarterback under the tutelage of Chris Kisarek. So Hyder did move on to the Dallas Cowboys, as I mentioned, where he signed a one-year contract worth $1 million, including $300,000 guaranteed. He was a backup, but appeared in all 16 games while posting 19 tackles, two for loss, one sack, and 19 pressures. He then found his way over to the San Francisco 49ers, where Hyder arguably had his best year. During his time with the Niners in 2020, he recorded two sacks on Jared Goff in a win against the LA Rams in week 12. He had the whole entire season a career high eight and a half sacks. After this monstrous season, Hyder decided to move on to the Seattle Seahawks, where he signed a two-year deal worth $6.8 million, but was released in 2022, and Hyder found his way back with the San Francisco Niners in 2022, and on 2023, April 17, Hyder signed a one-year contract extension 
to the San Francisco 49ers. While Kerry Hyder offers nice depth at the position opposite of Nick Bosa, he also is getting up there in age, almost being 32 years old. So the Niners have considerable competition at that spot, including Cleveland Farrell, another player the Niners signed this offseason and had a monstrous day sacking the quarterback three times. They also have their young, unproven star in Drake Jackson, who I think might actually set the league on fire this year. I'd love to hear your thoughts about Kerry Hyder and the Niners OTA's mandatory minicamp up to this point. It would also mean a ton to me if you liked and subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching.